G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. My live model today, her name is Allison, and you can see her haircut's grown out quite a bit, so it's time to give her an updated look. So you see me do this quite a bit in my haircuts before I even wash the hair because I'm going to take the back really short. I'm going to grab the clippers, I'm going to use the number 3 guard and I'm just going to take that bottom part off right away. It just saves so much time and I can just get in there and take the bulk of the haircut down the bottom, down the neckline. Just take the bulk out before we even wash it. So now that we've washed Allison's hair, you can see where I've taken the bottom part off with the clippers. So I'm going to start my sectioning right under the, or right above the occipital bone. So I'm going to take a triangle section and start my guideline to blend it into where I finished with the clippers before I washed it. So as with most haircuts, sectioning and elevation is key. You can see here my sectioning is really clean, pulling it out about 45 degrees. I want to keep a little bit of length or a little bit of weight right on that occipital bone there. So you can see we're going to start building up the weight up there. But the elevation is also very important. So you can see as I'm pulling it out, I'm slightly over directing it just so I can keep some little bit of length on top and connect that bottom part. So again, you can see right here, keeping my sections really clean. It's one of the most important things. So you're not having to go back over your work time and time again. But with this haircut in particular, we're going to make the outline pretty sharp. We're going to go up and over the ears. So it's really important that you get that nice and clean. So as we move on to the side section, or as we get to the side, you can see that I'm slightly over directing it back because I want to keep that weight on the top, but we're going to take the hairline really tight against the head. So making sure everything's pushed flat against the head, making sure it's nice and clean. But again, I'm just using the points of the scissors as I'm working my way around. So pushing their ear out of the way, making sure this is completely clean. So I want to take that really, really short right there. Now as I continue around the side, you can see I'm taking slightly diagonal forward sections, but I'm also pushing the hair completely forward to make sure there's no loose ends and it's very tight around the ear. Now I understand that everyone's got a different technique of actually cutting this haircut and I'm not saying my technique is the best but I do like the end result uh, with this type of haircut. You know it is a form of a pixie haircut but as I say there's so many different ways of cutting it. So as I'm taking this section, I'm actually working into the cheekbone. I'm following that line. So we want it to come right into the cheekbone. And we're going to keep a little bit of length in the crown to create that line that continues. So it's going to give her a nice profile shot. So after completing the sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush everything forward and I'm going to finish by taking that hairline really clean and tight, keeping up with the consistency of the rest of the haircut that we've already started. 
So we've taken the bulk out of the side, now we're just taking that hairline all the way up, making sure it's nice and clean, which you can see right here. So now you can see we've taken the outline really, really short and we've kept a little bit of length in the top. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to texturize it. So you can see I'm just twisting the hair together, sort of pushing and closing my scissor at the same time to give it that real gritty finish to it. I want it to be messy and just textured all the way through the top here where we've kept that little bit of length. So I don't want it to be too transparent, but I want to bring out some of that shape right in the crown area or on top of the head. Now to do this, it does take a little bit of practice. I've seen people really mess up on this. So make sure you practice on a mannequin head before you actually do it on a live client or model. But as we're going through the head, there is a method to the madness. I am taking sections, working backwards and forwards through that crown. And Alison's got a lot of hair. So I know uh, I can continue going backwards and forwards by taking out the bulk of her hair, but not being able to see the scalp. I don't want to be able to see all the way down to her scalp, but I do want to get that separation. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it off a little bit, pushing the hair in the direction that I want it to go. I actually want it to stay flat against the head, around the sides there, so you can see I'm not using a round brush or anything like that. I'm using my comb just to sort of help push it in the direction I want it to go, but I want it to stay pretty close to the scalp. So just blasting it with that hair dryer. I am going to finish it off with the lock spray. I love this hairspray. It's got a matte finish to it and I love it for short hair. It just gives it that separation. It's more like a, it's, I don't want to say it's a wax spray. It is an actual hairspray, but I like the grittiness that it brings out in the haircuts and it gives it that little bit of hold. So you can see right here, look, I absolutely love this haircut. I think it's changed her completely. We've got that nice little spunky lift in the top there and we get the separation, which the haircut should do, but the hairspray really finishes it off. Gives, brings out that texture a bit more. So if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And if you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload.